Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tola. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut and sew this Ankara flat pant. If this is what you're interested in, please sit back, relax, and let's get right straight into the video. For this tutorial, guys, I'll be making use of one and a half yard of Ankara material. And I'll be using my scissors, my chalk, and my tape rule, as you can see in the video. So the first thing to do is to take out 4 inch on the side of the fabric and also at the top of the fabric. So after that, the next thing to do is to take your waist circumference divided by 3. It's divided by 3 because this is actually a flared pant. So for me, my, my waist circumference divided by 3 is 10 inch. And I'll go ahead and mark that out in order for me to get the circular waist shape. So guys, the next thing to do is to get the length of the pants and before that I'm going to be extending the 4 inch line so that I'll be able to get the length of the trouser from it. And for this particular pants I'll be using, so for this particular tutorial I'll be using the length of 15 to 16 inch and then I'll be taking the measurement from the top in order for me to get the accurate measurement around the trouser. So I'm trying to bold in the lines out so we can see the lines of the chalk because the fabric is actually having like a white background. And so the next thing to do is to take our crotch depth. So for our crotch depth, we'll be using our hip measurements divided by 4. And then for me, my crotch depth is actually 11. After that, we're going to be dividing 11 by 4 for us to get our crotch extension at that point and that will give us 2.7 inch so go ahead and take that out on the crotch extension so for the down part we are going to remove 0 0.5 inch and then we are going to be left with 2.2 inch after that we are going to be forming a curve from our crotch extension to our crotch depth you can actually use freehand and if you have a curve rule you can make use of your curve rule to form this curve and then from the down we are going to connect So the next thing to do for the back is also take our crotch depth which is 11 inch and then we are going to be taking our crotch extension which is our crotch depth divided by 4 but this case we are going to be adding 0 0.5 inch to that. So that is going to be around 3.2 inch and then we are going to be taking our measurements from there. And then for the down part, removing 0 0.5 inch from 3.2 inch will be left with so we'll be left with 2.7 inch, and then we are going to connect with that. So making use of our curve rule of freehand, we are going to be connecting that crotch depth to the crotch extension, as you can see I'm doing in the video. So guys, that's all for the drafting and then we're going to be cutting out this trouser. We're going to be cutting out by 0 0.5 inch on all sides. But then at the back, we're going to be cutting by 1 inch because of the zip that we're going to be putting at the back.
So the next thing to do is to fold into two and split the front and the back pattern because we drafted both the front and the back on the fabric at the same time. So we're going to be splitting that out for us to have both sides on a different fabric. So right after that, I went ahead and cut an extra piece for both the front and the back, as you can see. And then next, we are going to be joining the front piece together and the back piece, but we are going to be leaving out 7 inch allowance for 7 inch space for the zipper that we are going to be fixing at the back. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back two pieces together. The next thing we're going to be doing is to join the sides of the chosen. So after joining the side and the under together, the next thing we're going to be doing is to join the band for the chosen, and then the band is going to be a 2.5 inch width band and then the length is going to be depending on your waist measurement so as you can see guys i'm done joining the waistband of the trouser so we'll go ahead and aim the edge of the trouser for the both legs. So guys, we are done aiming the edge of the trouser and then we are going to just go ahead to fix our zipper for the trouser. So guys, our trouser is ready, our flat pants is ready, as you can see it's already sitting pretty. This is looking short because it depends on how long you want it to be. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do also like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment of the kind of video you would love to see on this channel guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!